Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins. I wanted to talk about a fish kill that was reported to me, I, and I saw these pictures of just a massive fish kill in a lake in St. Johns County in Ponte Vedra. Hundreds of fish were either dead or they were gulping for air. And it's not the first time we've seen fish kills in the area. In fact, in Florida, fish kills are very common, uh, especially due to like harmful algae blooms in the area. So not quite sure what was the cause of some of these fish that turned up belly up in this lake here. You can see one, it looks like maybe the, a shad or a bluegill. There's several uh, species of fish that all turned up dead. And usually if it were like a cold air outbreak, it'd just be like one or two types of fish that would suffer from the cold. But this were many different types of fish. So chances are when you see the fish gulping for air, like this one fish was doing, its head was out of the water. There was very low dissolved oxygen in the lake. So they were having a hard time extracting oxygen from the water with their gills. And so they were actually just putting their heads out of the water as a last di ditch before they suffocated. And here you can see all of the fish either just belly up or gasping for air here in the pond. Water didn't look particularly green, so it's hard to say if there was any algae in there. Uh, I did contact FWC since this was a lake in a private community. They had no jurisdiction over it and they couldn't really even go out to investigate. But uh, I did talk to UNF biologist Professor Kelly Smith and she was telling me that chances are it could have been an algae bloom. You know, sometimes they have a YSR, it's a YSI, it's like a device that you put in the water to test the, the amount of oxygen, but without that information, we just don't know. You can see all these little white specks here. Uh, those were the dead fish, and there, there were a lot of birds there. Usually birds can sense that there's some toxins in the water and they would stay away, but there were vultures, pelicans, and they were all scavenging on those fish. So this was likely a natural cause, although it's close to a uh, golf course, pesticides, fertilizers can enhance algae blooms, and when the algae dies off, the decomposing nature of that algae, uh, it can basically absorb all the oxygen out of the water as well. And also there's some types of algae that are heterotrophic and uh, it can like fix the water and uh, allow a, a decrease in oxygen levels as well. So here you can see one heron just looking out over all of those dead fish in the lake. And here you can see some more, looks like the shad floating belly up and just a really sad sight to see and uh, hopefully we don't have to uh, see this too often out there. And uh, for now, that's a quick look at what I posted on the News for Jack's weather uh, site. If you go into weather stories, you can go to newsforjacks.com and read more about this fish kill.